Welcome parents, it's time for the next edition of Math DVDs to help your, you help your child with math. Today's topic will be problem solving. Say hello to your new best friend in problem solving. This is the CUBES strategy. CUBES is an acronym that so stands for the steps in solving a problem. So let's go through those steps. Our first step is C, and that stands for circle the key numbers. If they are written in word form, write the standard form above the words. U. Underline the question. What are you being asked to solve? B. Box any math action words. These keywords will tell you what to do to solve the problem. E. Evaluate what steps you should take to solve the problem. Eliminate any information that you do not need. And S. Solve and check. Does my answer make sense and how can I double check my work? Now let's apply this strategy to an actual problem. All right, here's our problem that we're going to plan on solving today. It says Kyle has some pennies in his bank and $5 bills in his wallet. He used 75 pennies to buy a pen. Now he only has 24 pennies in his bank. How many pennies did Kyle have at first? So our first step is going to be circle the numbers. So I see the number 5. That's a word form, so I'm going to write it in standard form. I see the number 75 and the number 24. My next step says to underline the question. Here's my question. How many pennies did Kyle have at first? My B stands for box any action words. This can get tricky. We're used to the action words how many more and all together. But sometimes action words are hidden. For instance, in this problem, one of the action words used is at first. That tells us we're trying to figure out what he started with. There's also the action word of used. That tells me some of his pennies went away. Also, I see the word now. That tells me I know what he has now. He has 24 right now. That's going to help me in solving. Now, E has actually two steps within it because the first is to evaluate what steps you're going to take to solve and also to eliminate the information you don't need. This problem talks about dollar bills. But, as you can see, the question says, how many pennies did Cal have at first? It doesn't care about the dollar bill, so I'm simply going to mark out that extra information that I don't need. Now I'm going to start evaluating my steps. It says he used 75, so I know that 75 went away at some point. Okay, and it says that now he has 24. So I know he ended up with 24 after he took some away, but I'm not sure how many he started with. <coughs> the easiest way for me to solve this is actually to go backwards. I know he ended up with 24, so I've got to figure out what could go with 24. What could be 24 plus 75 put together, because I know I took away 75 and I ended up with 24. So I'm actually going to add 75 plus 24. That's the amount he had when he was all done and the amount he used to buy his pen. So when I add that up, I've got 5 plus 4 equals 9 and 7 plus 2 equals 9. So now I know he had 99 pennies at first. Okay, that leads me to my S. I'm going to solve and check. So, one way that I could use to solve this is to use the other operation. I'm going to use this right here. I was looking for this question mark. I found 99. So, let's test ourselves. If we do 99 minus 75, let's see, 9 minus 5 would be 4, and 9 minus 7 would be 2. Oh, guess what? That was 24. So I can answer the, does my answer make sense? It sure does. And uh, did I double check my work? I sure did. So now I know my answer is for sure 99 pennies. So that's why I think this cube strategy is going to be so helpful for you when you're working with your child. So once again, here's the cube strategy. We highly suggest that you use this with your child. You can also expect to see this strategy come up again in third grade. We'll be sending home a paper copy of this cube strategy and some practice problems so that you can rehearse this with your child. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you for your time. Remember, send this DVD back with your child tomorrow so that it can be checked out by children in other classes. Have a wonderful day.